What's up guys, it's Larry's Tech and Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run a Linux virtual machine on Windows 10. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to head over to Ubuntu's website and we're going to download Linux, the file, to our computer. Uh, this is a distribution I chose. Um, it's the most popular. There's other distributions that you can choose, but the one I'm using for this video is um, Ubuntu. Uh, Linux Ubuntu. So we're going to go over to the Ubuntu's website and we're going to head down to the download page. Uh, but so we're going to go to Ubuntu Desktop and we're going to download the latest version. And then the download is going to start. So then once the file is done downloading, we're going to set up our virtual machine. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head over to virtualbox.org. This is uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox. And we're going to want to click on Windows Hosts. And we're going to want to download it. And my virus protection just said that it's safe. Hit next. Next. And then, would you like to proceed with the installation? Select yes. And then select install. And then, now we're just going to wait for it to install. I'm going to pause the video, and then, when it's done installing, I'm going to show you what the next step is. So, we're going to download the Linux file to our computer. We're going to go to Ubuntu Linux. This is website, the distribution that we're using. For, like, this is um, going to be Ubuntu. There's multiple distributions of Linux you can use whatever you want but this is what I'm going to be using so I'm going to download page and then we're going to select the latest version all right so now we're in VirtualBox and we're going to select new name Linux and then type Linux version of uh, what we're using is Ubuntu 64 bit so where is that I'm going to select Ubuntu 64-bit right here, and then hit next. So then memory size, the recommended amount is uh, 1,024 megabits, but we're going to go with, let's see, yeah, I'm going to go with, yeah, I'm going to just go with the recommended. We can always add more later or change it, then next. Create a virtual hard disk. Yeah, let's create a virtual hard disk. Next. Next. We're going to give it 10 gigs. And then this is an overview of our system. And now we're going to hit start. Now we have to select an optical disk, add. Then select the Linux file. I think I put that in my downloads. Yep, here it is. Choose. And now we're going to start it. So now it is working. Okay, so here we have, we have our Ubuntu Linux booting up, running natively on our Windows machine. Now we're just going to wait for it to load, and then we're going to create our new user once it loads up. So now everything's done loading, 
and we're going to enter our password in. And now we have a full Linux operating system. And like it's just as like it was installed on the actual system and you can just use it like all the features of Linux. So like there's Thunderbird Mail, there's like the Linux Files app, LibreOffice Writer, and like uh, the default browser is like the Firefox browser. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, you have Linux. If this helps you out, uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, peace out, guys.